Most people only use Lima, Peru as a stepping stone to get you to Machu Picchu, the Sacred Valley, and other tourist attractions. But today, we're gonna show you why Lima, Peru should be on your bucket list. romantic bohemian neighborhood of Lima. It's called Barranco. It's also known as the Soho of Lima. From its colorful street art, tucked away bars, little coffee shops, old mansions, it's sure to be an amazing place to hang out in Lima. One of our first impressions of Lima is the weather is perfect. Every day, it's about 70 to 75 degrees. It's sunny, it's not too hot, not too cold, just right for some running, sweats, t-shirt, and sunglasses. We always find it so interesting when we read about a town versus when we actually get there and experience what it's like. They say it's like the Soho of Lima, but I have been to Soho in New York for and it really is. It's so similar. There's so many cute coffee shops and just vendors out selling things. It definitely gives you that hipstery vibe. So we are at the Bridge of Size. <sighs> Maddie didn't tell me much about it, but she told me to record myself talking about it. But what do I say besides don't I look beautiful today? Okay, so the bridge of size, rumor has it, or old folk tale is that if you make a wish and then hold your breath and you can walk across the 100 foot bridge while holding your breath, your wish, wish comes true. If I would have known that, I would have came to Lima forever ago. Yeah. So, Jeez. let's go. Wait. Okay. You got your. I've got my wish. Got mine. Ready? One, two, three. No, <gasps> we're not there yet. Oh. All right, you ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Okay, where's my puppy? <laughs> this would be my favorite artwork if it was Space Jam 1 with Michael Jordan. You know I got lost as a child at a shopping mall. Don't do that again. Okay, so I have no idea what this is, but everyone's coming and tying like rags onto these twines here. No idea what it symbolizes, so if you know, let us know down in the comments, but it's pretty cool. Now, we are in the, probably the most popular neighborhood in all of Lima called Miraflores. It is gorgeous. It sits right atop of these cliffs, right over the ocean. Here is where you're gonna find all of like high-end shopping, huge sky rises. It's home to beautiful parks and a really nice like Malacan walking trail. All right, behind us, we got Far La Marina, the lighthouse of the Malacan in Lima, Peru. And it was built by the magician of iron. I don't know what that means, but I'm guessing he was good working with his hands and making iron. And it is an active lighthouse. So when boats come in, they don't crash into the cliffside. There you have it. And if walking isn't enough workout for you, got all these workout machines along the walk. Now, how do I get off of here? Oh, dirty. One of the most popular spots here in Miraflores is going to be the Love Park or Parque de Del Amor. 
I believe either way, it's a love park. There's a statue here of two people entangled and kissing. It's quite interesting. It's but disgusting. It's, but it's a gorgeous park with a ton of tile and ceramics and beautiful artwork like this person is selling. Hola! And since it is the most popular area in this region, it definitely has got the most vendors trying to sell you things. So be prepared for that. They do have beautiful artwork though and beautiful jewelry. If you are interested in buying some, I think here's going to be your best place. Right next to the Love Park, there's a bunch of paragliders. So you can watch them run and jump off the cliff pretty much and soar out over the ocean. you can pay to do it yourself too. With them, yeah, I think you can, but. I would have no guide. I would do a guideless tour on the paragliders. From the guy that is terrified of heights. <laughs> yeah, okay. I highly recommend walking down the Malacan. It's beautiful. So much going on, great way to intertwine with the locals. But now we're making our next walk to Kennedy Park. It's a park named after a guy named Kennedy. Don't know if that's true, I just do what Maddie tells me to, so. There, I read something online that said that it's maybe named after the president Kennedy. It's maybe named after the president Kennedy of Peru. Oh, no, of the US. Of the US. I was like, that's a coincidence. Huh, anyways. Let's go. I guess the park is after the president, John F. Kennedy. That's what I said. No, I told you that. Oh. So we're here in the park. It is known for having really good street food, but also for having a ton of cats. Don't ask me how, why, or what, but I guess I just read that there's cats everywhere and we get two steps into the park and there's a cat right next Here's to us. Here's the thing though, on the bridge, I wish for a puppy, not you a got, bunch of feral cats. Got a cat. All right, now we're at Mercado Sequillo. And there's two different ones. I think we're at number one, but we're gonna go explore it. From what I understand, there's a lot of fruit, but a lot of fresh fish, where I think we can get fresh ceviche. Yeah. Hola, buenas. <laughs> what are you gonna get, Matt? I think I'm gonna do pineapple, strawberry, and orange juice. It's 8.50 sold, which is like, to US dollars. What's there? The pina, fresa, and naranja? Let's see. I'm gonna drop the bag. So we got pineapple, strawberry, with orange juice. That is so good. And so fresh. We're leaving Mercada Sequilla, and there's a bunch of fruit, a bunch of meat, a bunch of ceviche restaurants, and it's just a really cool place to go to. So I recommend checking it out. Now we're heading off to the main part of downtown to go to the Plaza de Armas. It's like the center of downtown Lima. Plaza de Armas. It is the main central point in all of downtown Lima. They even say it's the heart of Lima. We just took a 30 minute cab ride from the Miraflores area and now I feel like we're in a totally different like country even. I feel like we're totally over in Europe. The architecture here is incredible and it's really interesting. Over Back over here, it's all these yellow buildings.
So behind me you have the presidential palace. The president himself lives here. And at noon every day they have a changing of the guards just like they do in England. And I'm guessing just like in England these dudes aren't people you want to mess with. But we're going to go find out. Just kidding. We're not. But it is cool. So today we've been taking taxis from place to place. One thing about the taxis though, they're very inexpensive. We've been going across town for about 20 sol, which is about $5 and a 20, 30 minute ride sometimes. So they're inexpensive. There's a taxi about every corner you look, but the problem is be prepared with where you're going because they don't have much time and they will just take off or tell you no. So insider tip, welcome to Lima, Peru. So right next to the Plaza de Armas, there is a cute little bar restaurant right here on the corner. So we stopped in because we were gonna try the traditional cocktail of Pisco Sour. Now Pisco is a type of liquor that is made here in Peru. That's really good. Cheers. Just got done with our delicious <laughs> Pisco Sours and now there's just like 30 plus police officers all with shields, batons. Or batoons, whatever they're batons, called. Batons, Maggie. Batons. Gonna start a riot. <laughs> riot. Stop. You're all right there. Gonna start a riot. Hi, Bob. Hey, we're doing? So, not sure what's going on. People must really hate the president. No, so there's like hundreds of police officers with like shields and shit. So I went up to one of them and I was like, what is going on here? And she was like, what do you mean? And I was like, well, there's like hundreds of you. Like, why? I was like, is something about to happen with the president? She was like, no, like, we're just always here. So I wonder if it's kind of like the White House, like similarity. Well, it is. It's where the president lives, but it's like. But it's like the White House. Yeah. I don't get it. But I mean, yeah, but like, the, I feel like the White House doesn't have that. You ever been to the White House? Max? Yeah. And like, I mean, these are like, they're ready for riots to break out. Well, I don't know. It only takes one to start it, so. That is true. But yeah, she very much was just like, it's normal. There's nothing special here. And I was like, like okay. Stupido, gringo. She was. She was like, in. what do you mean it's normal? And I was like, okay, got it. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. So Lima is a pretty big city. It's about 10 million people, but it just doesn't feel that way. It's not the crazy hustle bustle of New York or Guadalajara or Mexico City. It's very slow moving, easy going. People are walking a lot. I don't know, it's just, we're walking at dark right now. I feel fully comfortable. So we are walking from Plaza de Armas all the way to Parque de la Reserva, where there is a night water fountain light show. Um, we could have taken a taxi, it would have been super cheap, but there's so much traffic here that it's only like a 20 minute walk. So we're walking, we talked to multiple people, they all said it was super safe to walk where we're going at. we feel at. very comfortable doing it. Yeah, we feel super comfortable. There's so many people out at coffee shops, at bars. And what's interesting in this, their bars here aren't like all dark and like, I don't know, like I feel like most bars are like dark, or at least they're in Montana. Here they're like, lit up with bright fluorescent lights and like I don't know it just makes for a really fun night out walking on the streets. So we have no idea what we just came across but it is a bunch of people in this park like dancing like girl groups dancing, guy groups dancing, Couples dancing, whoa, they're getting after it. I'm so confused. Whoa, this is really cool. Like there's hundreds of people out here dancing in this park. It's really cool. There's obviously some event going on at their main 
soccer or football stadium. I have no idea what's going on, but the streets are packed and crazy out tonight. So and we're just trying to get to a water fountain show. Sounds like we picked the wrong event for tonight. Get in the get in. So we finally found the entrance, but I still don't know how to get to it. There's a ticket booth. Yeah, I know, but I don't know. There's everything gated. I don't know. So it costs four soles per person. So roughly one dollar per person. show show of the waterworks they're on at 710 750 830 and 910 I believe and wow it's really cool and super special and romantic and then the water just keeps showing up I liked it a lot he was he was very blown away it was cool very yeah. cool it'd be awesome to bring your kids to it if we had kids or if you have kids or if somebody else has kids totally and it was four soles which is one u.s dollar per person so can't beat that even if they weren't doing the water show this is a gorgeous park and so we're at the parque de la reserva and this park is actually um, in honor of all of the heroes that fought for Peru's independence, not so much independence, but to keep it. So the Chile Chileans tried to come over and invade, and the Peruvians were actually losing. So they had to have lawyers and doctors and even children under the age of 16. Can you imagine? Kids under the age of 16 go and become soldiers. And so this park here is dedicated to all of those normal civilians that became soldiers and stopped the Chileans from invading Lima back in like the 1800s. That's wild. Yeah. I love history if you couldn't tell. I love food if you can't tell. Yeah. That was the coolest thing ever. That was awesome. Okay, so we just got done with the water show. It is amazing. It is a must do it when you come to Lima, Peru. We have basically been out all day long, so I think we're gonna wrap it up and we're gonna head home now, grab a taxi. Hopefully it should only cost about like 20 soles to go from where we're at all the way over to Barranco neighborhood. So we really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.